It, it was my hope that uh, just for Miss McClintock to be able to move on, that it would be deemed already served. But uh, the, His Honor didn't see that fit, and that's he's totally within his rights to do that. In terms of moving on, is she dealing with her anger issues while in custody? She is. She's uh, she's going through various programming to uh, to deal with that. This guilty plea was a formal expression of that remorse and a desire to, to take responsibility for her actions and move on. She did write in the letter that she regretted not inflicting more injuries and damage on the victim. How does that sort of fit into her remorse? Well, I mean, that, that letter was written uh, almost immediately after the event uh, took place, after the incident took place. And uh, I think that was written at a point where she was still, uh, at, you know, at an emotional high. And I think uh, it was that's all part of the incident. And her actions now uh, reflect on her thoughts towards it at this point in time. It's just, uh, I know it has been, uh, even though, you know, big picture, it's not going to result in any more jail time or anything like that. It, it has been a stress and something that she's been dealing with and, and today she was just uh, looking forward to closing this chapter.